Hello everyone, welcome back to another watch and today I've got a quick box opening of my Watch Gang Black Membership watch for September. Before we get to that, we'll do a quick wrist check and you'll see that I am still wearing that Walbrook Outrider. This was actually my Watch Gang Black Membership watch from last month. This one really has been a go-to. I love this one. Now, as always, or as from here on out on the box opening, it's going to be a keep or sell. And if it's a keep, I'll do a follow-up review. I haven't got to do my last keep yet, which was that Patrick watch that I'm still debating on why I decided to keep it. I don't know. There was something random about it that I did like. Now, guys, if you're unfamiliar with Watch Gang, it is a monthly subscription company. You pay a fee. You get to keep a watch. And I'm the crazy person that's been doing it for who knows how long at this point. And if you're in, if you want to try and save some money, make sure you click one of my uh, links below for Spinnaker, Aviate, or Ballast. And if you're thinking about signing up for Watch Gang, make sure you click that link as well. And I have a link to my eBay page where I'm selling off some of my watches and. I also have another channel where I try and keep some old cars on the road. So make sure you check that out as well. All right. Dugina. Not one I've heard of before. How about you guys? Have you heard of Dugina? Let's take a look. Okay. Well, I am a sucker for green, but... I have a lot of watches like this. I really do. It's a little too bad. It's got just a stamped steel buckle, although I've said many times. I've never really had any issues with, with the stamped steel buckles. I'm going to say this one is quartz movement. So this is how that Dugina looks on my roughly 7-inch wrist. Now... It is a nice enough watch. I do love the green, and I bet this green looks great in the sunshine. But, man, I have a lot of green watches. So, this one is going to be going up for sale. Now, this was a Watch Gang Black Membership tier level watch, which is currently at $149.95. My... Uh, my subscription level because i've been doing it for so long i pay 99.95 and honestly guys some of the watches that i've been putting up are new and people have been getting some smoking deals so you might have a chance to get a good deal on this one now it does say let's pull it back off wrist really quick do gina so it looks like the retail on this one would be 199 which it used to be Watch Gang said the watches were valued up to $500. So I wonder how you guys feel at that $199 price point when you're paying $149, you know, $150. Like I said, the last one, the Woolbrook, I love, and I feel like you would have been totally happy paying that higher price level. This one, eh, I don't know. I'm not going to keep it long enough to find out just because I have so many very similar watches to this one. Don't know if you can see it there, but it does say it has a VD53 movement. You can see there's tons of micro adjustments available on the bracelet on this one. Like I said, unfortunately, it's too bad it's not a little bit better bracelet. Looks like it is polished and brushed. Kind of the same with the case and bezel. Got a unidirectional rotating bezel there was a little stiff at first but it could have just been from some of the plastics overall not a showstopper for me and i'm sure somebody out there loves this one so it's just the way it goes there's a watch for every wrist it doesn't look horrible on my roughly seven inch wrist there's a ton of space for adjustments I'm guessing I'd be removing at least four links and probably using some micro adjustments on this one. So if you've got a lot of, a larger wrist, there is plenty of room for adjustment. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. And 
if you're interested in it, it's going to be up on my eBay page. As always, guys, thanks for watching.